Hello everyone, Arrowfight here, and this is sort of an extension video, um, and I'm basically going to show you how to make shops now, because yesterday I showed you how to make the money system, the currency system, all that stuff, right? So um, there's basically three ways that I see it that you can make this shop. I'm sure there's multiple other ways, this is just the way I came up with it. Um, they're actually all the same way, but can be just made lower. So there's this shop right here that just gets the buttons redstone signal directly. And this one also gets it directly, but just a little bit lower. And then this one's a lot lower. And um, I think this one's probably the best one because you um, don't have to worry about how thick your walls are of whatever shop or whatever you're making. You can just build it underground. And uh, so your building can just be, you know, one thick or whatever. You don't have to... Um, you don't have to make like super thick walls. So I think that's probably the best way, but I'm going to build it using this way. Right here. And um, basically, um, the way it works, um, let me get my sidebar. I spelled something wrong. Scoreboard, objectives, my bad. There we go. Okay, so there's shop owner. Obviously, you can see I've been testing it. Um, but basically, when I hit this button, um, I'm going to get some item, which is uh, zombie flesh, or rotten flesh. And the shop owner is going to get one gold, and I'm going to lose one gold. And there you go. And if I'm not over there and I click it, nothing is going to happen. As long as you're within a two radius, it works. And, um, you know, it doesn't have to be one gold. You can do however much gold you want. Now, the only real problem with this is that if somebody spams it, they're not going to get all the items. But they will lose money. Let's see it go down. Now, on the inverse of that, if I don't have gold, like I don't now, uh, I also won't get items. So it actually does check to make sure that you have the money before it tries to dispense. And uh, yeah, okay, so I'm going to load up Fresh World and um, I will show you how this works. Okay, uh, I'm back and I decided not to load up Fresh World. And I'm going to use my Gold World that I did before um, for the previous tutorial, but uh, that shouldn't matter really. So. Let's start. Okay, so first, um, I'm going to act as if my shop is sort of in the air, just because that makes it easier on me, where I don't have to dig underground. Um, but obviously, you're going to build it wherever you want to build it. And um, that level's not necessary. Okay, so we need a button. Okay. And... The way this works, I'm just going to grab the signal from it and place a command block. We'll build the whole structure and then put commands in. Okay. You want the torch here. Basically, we're making an AND gate, right? Where if this command is true, or this command is able to execute, um, then it will work. That's, that's the general idea. So grab the signal from it. And, oops, do that. And there you go. There's our AND gate sort of thing going on, right? Based off of signals coming from everything. So, we grab the signal from that. And, we grab the signal from that one and have them together. So the only time that whatever we want to do is going to work, all right, whatever we're trying to sell, the only time that will happen is if the button's been pressed, which is what this technically grabs, right? And this command block's able to execute. If this command block doesn't execute, this torch stays on, and so nothing will happen. If it's able to execute, then both torches will turn off, so this will turn off and allow everything. So place that and extend it out 
Okay. And I'm going to put the command block here. You can put it anywhere along the strip, but this command block is the one that actually gives it to the shop owner. Okay. So now we want a dropper. Facing up through the floor. And a redstone signal here. So, in the event that the button's been pressed and the command block executes, both torches are off, this signal's off, this signal's on, executes this and this at the same time. Okay, I mean, that's literally the concept behind it. So, in this command block, we have to know a few things. Uh, I'm going to type it over here to make it easy on myself. This is where the dispenser is. We want a radius around this point is where it's checking. We don't want it to check the entire world. You could make it check the closest player if you want, which is technically what I'm going to do, but I'm going to put a little radius on it and stuff like that. So, the way this works is it's... Well, I better get my F3 up. Okay, it's scoreboard board players remove okay add, add a player I'm trying to remove an item or a, a scoreboard object rather scoreboard within a radius of two at x equals and we are at 672 y equals 60 and z equals negative um, 564 and then we want to check if they have a minimum value of whatever you want to sell the gold or the item for. So I'm going to put one, a value of one, and then gold one. So we're removing one gold as long as they have one gold. One gold as long as they have one gold. If they are within a radius of two of this point, which is the where the dropper is. So I'm going to. That's command A, command C, and then paste it in, voila. And then this one right here is going to actually give the uh, money to the shop owner. So scoreboard players add shop owner. And that's going to be... You're going to put whoever's name owns the shop there, whether it's you or if, if it's a server shop, then nobody probably, unless you want the server to have money. Anyway, you're adding one gold to it because that's how much the item costs. Okay, and um, I'm going to make it redstone, I think. So, there we go. Now, there is a small percent of error that this item will not dispense. So it's best if you block it all the way up like this and it has a better chance. Obviously you need to be able to stock it, so you can either make this wool or something something easy to destroy, so you can destroy, stock it, put it back, that kind of thing. Um, but it's better chance that way. Here you go. Getting my redstone. My money's going down. Shop owner gained my money. I hit zero gold. Not working. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, it'd be great if you could hit the like button below. And if you really liked it, it'd be awesome if you could hit the subscribe button that's in the middle-ish portion of your screen now. In the event that you just didn't like anything about it, I'd really like to know what you didn't like. So if you could, put that in the comments below. I'd be as mean as you want, um, but you know I reserve the right to respond and stuff like that. And if I truly feel that it was a problem, I will attempt to fix it. Now, if you did like it, uh, there should be two videos on your screen now. The one on the left is the uh, video that this one's extending from, which is making a currency system for vanilla Minecraft. And then on the right side of the screen, there is a tamper-proof bomb originally done by Seth Blang, but I found an easier way to do it. And um, it's pretty cool. It's a good prank, um, but kind of mean if you're going to blow somebody's face up or something like that. Anyway, once again, I hope you liked it. Later.